Yo, what is going on guys? It's Loki here, or you can just call me Lewis. Today I got a story for you guys. It's the time I got stabbed with a pencil. As crazy as that sounds, this actually happened in the fifth grade. In the fifth grade, I got sent to an alternative school for the first time in the middle of the year because I was misbehaving in my regular school. So this is my first alternative school I have ever been to. So this happened probably the first two months being there. I can't really remember. It was a long ass time ago. But there's this kid, and I'm just gonna call him, call him Bitch Boy, cause you know, he's a bitch. He always like, he was that kid that always told on the teacher whenever he could, and he was that kid that complained about everything. Like, uh, say like he he like threw something at you, and you didn't say anything. You just threw something back. He would literally just tell on you right on the spot. He was like that bitch kid. So me and bitch kid always would argue because he was such a snitch, and it made me so angry. Like I, I had wicked bad anger issues, so I'd always like yell at him and tell him to mind his own damn business and stuff like that. One day, bitch kid wasn't having it, and he got up to, like he swore up on me. And this happened a couple times, and I threatened to like fight him and shit. But uh, it always get broken up by staff before anything really broke out like too big. But today, the staff were dealing with some other kid who was having like a freak out session, so they had to like restrain him outside of the room. While that happened, we were just talking shit back and forth to each other, and he finally got mad and he stood up, and I stood up, and we were face to face. And then I fucking shoved him, and he he falls back and he hits the desk, and he gets so mad he picks up the pencil and starts running at me. My first reaction was initially just like grab him by the neck and when i'm trying to bring him down i try to put my foot behind his leg to like slam him down on the ground but before i could he took the pants and he stabbed like right beneath my right beneath my tip basically i'm trying to like see right now yeah the scar is like on my third ribcage it's still there it's like a black circle yeah he just jammed in there as hard as he could and it fucking broke off in my skin and shit so after that i got wicked mad like i didn't even feel the pain at the time my adrenaline kicked in i got so angry i got on top of the kid and i started beating the fuck out of him i felt really bad after actually because his nose started bleeding i guess he had really bad nose bleeds when like his nose was really sensitive or some shit after after at the time i obviously didn't care because he stabbed me with a fucking pencil uh afterwards my mom got sent called in she came Came in and she was flipping out on the teachers for letting it happen i was picking out little pieces of wood from the pencil out of my skin for like a couple of hours honestly hurt a lot and it stung every time like i pulled out a piece of wood because it like dragging against like my skin it, it fucking hurt like a bastard to be honest i'm surprised like he broke it off inside of my like skin it was bleeding a lot actually i grabbed some paper towels from the bathroom and dried all my blood and was just holding it there until my mom came to pick me up and after she came you know like i said she was flipping out and stuff and then we went home she bought me mcdonald's because she felt bad and basically i missed the next week of school because I just wanted to lay down at home and just heal and just not deal with that fuck boy even though we both did get suspended for I think it was like four or five days I was like suspended on like I think it was a Thursday or a Friday and then the next few days like when the next week I was suspended also and I, I could have went back I think it was either Thursday or Friday again but I just chose to skip the whole week pretty short story but it's pretty insane just the thought of someone like wanting to stab another person with a pencil i have no idea what was going through his mind i didn't think that he was that angry at me like i'm not gonna lie i was an asshole i like picked on him a lot just because like he pissed me off so we pick on each other you know what i mean it was like a mutual thing i wasn't just like a bully or anything i'm not like really about that if you fuck with me then i'm gonna i'm gonna get mad and i'm gonna fuck with you i'm also just a chill guy i won't really like do anything if you don't so he just got me mad and pushed me to that limit and i just had to do it I'd had, a, had to go off on him. We'd always still make fun of each other, but we never got into that physical contact anymore because I'm pretty sure he was kind of, uh, he's hesitant after I made his nose bleed. And then I was hesitant because he stabbed me with a pencil, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I didn't want to get near that kid ever again. He might get like a pen or something worse and just like fucking stab me even worse than he did. But, uh, all right that's about it guys i hope you enjoyed the story if you did at any point in time i really appreciate a like it helps out my channel so much comment down what you thought about the story and subscribe for future content thank you guys so much for watching once again i've been loki and i'm out peace